Here, 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 good, good, here, sit, here, hey, crow, here. I'm going to throw the dummies, just walk right past them, okay, just keep going. Then we're going to spin back around and we're going to see how the dogs do when we go past them, okay? So they're just going to add a little element. Ready? And I'm going to get in on this one as well. So check your line, make sure your line looks good. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Great line. I'm gonna throw a dummy, check your line, make sure your line looks good. Watch your line, watch your line. There, nice little adjustment. Just keep working, nice. Good job, Jeff. Watch your line, watch your line. That dummy threw a little curveball at Ryan, watch the line. Okay. And stop, check your line. I, I mean, the, li the, the line didn't really go that bad. When I started throwing dummies, did anybody struggle? How, who had, Ryan had some struggles, distraction, through, do you think it was because of drive to want to go get it? He wants to go get it. Okay. Uh, how did how did these how did you guys do? He wanted to go get it. Wanted to go get it, but did it really break your? Did it break what you were doing? Kind of hold back, like he wanted to just back and then just go. Did he go? Yeah. Ah, hold on. <laughs> I had to correct him once. Now stop, stop. Everybody look at Jeff. The smile that your face just gave me when you went, well, he really wanted to go, he really wanted to go, and he wanted to come back, and he wanted to rah, go like that. And then I said, but did he go? And he said, well, no. And you, you kind of smiled and laughed about it. That was really tempting. That was a big challenge for poor Da Vinci. And you almost like, in your mind, I think think he went and lunged and he didn't. That's real good, Jeff. Do you believe me? I do. Okay, because I, I think you said, okay. <laughs> it, is, it really is. So, especially considering that prior to us throwing dummies, you were having a hard time getting him to heal. And then the last two times that we moved, he healed a lot better, and we threw dummies. And I think he did better with the dummies than he did. I couldn't see him the whole time, but the way it sounded, because I didn't hear a lot of correction, I didn't hear a lot of chains going, I didn't hear a lot of you verbal to him. And I kept a peek out of my eyes, and like the line didn't really get that broken up. So like that's a real positive thing. Okay, so I think we celebrate that a bit. Uh, can you turn around and line your, do you feel comfortable lining your dog to send for the retrieve? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So let's all turn around and then have a hold of your dogs because now we're going to start something that could trigger our dogs to get a little excited. We're going to get, we're just going to, we're going to allow one to go make a retrieve. Could get a, a dog excited. So I'm anticipating what could go wrong here. So be prepared for it. Be ready for it. Da Vinci, it's going to be a challenge for him because someone's going to send a dog next to him. And so get his focus. Good dog. Get, 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 that's all right. Get her to you. So that's okay, Brian. Take a deep breath. Get her to you, and then get down. Get down. And blow your whistle to her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. Here. Here. Ha 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 ha. Come on. It's 
It's all right. We're gonna get her to you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Here, 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 good girl, here, good here. Good girl, come here, come here. Here, good here. Good girl, come here. Good, good. Here, sit. Here. Hey, crow, here. Sit. Come here. It's okay, girl. Come here. Come on. Come here, girl. It's okay. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Here, let's walk away. You grab your grab your lead. And then let's walk this way. Come on, girl, come on. Good. Here. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You call her, Brian. Come on. And then get her. And tell her to sit. Get her, you just reel her in. Right here. Go. Come here. Go. Come on. Sit. You sit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Have her sit. 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 Good. Go ahead, put the lead. Go ahead, put the lead on. Sit. Good. Now heal her back. I'll take that dummy. Now. Okay. Now. On a retrieve, Brian, normally on a retrieve, do you go through that? No. What's it usually look like? I make them short retrieves and she comes back to me, but if you add distractions like this, it does look like 100%. So like, which is absolutely fine. Like, I have no problem with it. Sit. What I think, yeah, so we saw a little switching too. Like she read memory of that one. She saw that one, she did a little switching. So, okay. Um, when you get her back to you normally on a retrieve, what does it look like? Do, do you, do you? Party. I get down, I praise her and I take it from her and tell her what a good girl she is. Not like what you just did. Very similar. At the end. At the end? Yeah. How come you didn't do that in the beginning? I don't know. You fro you got stuck. Like, yeah. okay. So. I was so excited because it was happening. I thought she was going to bring it right to me and then she blew by. And she was going to. She was totally. She ran out. I expected her to go out. Like, she, like when, once you sent her, she went. It was almost a blind because she had forgotten about it. That was the last one in her mind. She ran like it was a blind. Her head kind of swiveled. Then she saw it, touched it, picked it up, came back like it was like, I expected her to come up and deliver. And then I saw her like, see that dummy? I think she saw that one. And then she shifted gears and then she like went and then she turned into Hutch. I can say that because why it's not here. She, she decided, wow, what a great release. And then, but then I saw you and that's why I was going, well, get her to you, get her to you, get her to you. And I wasn't sure you were in that, I, don't, I wasn't sure you minded that much if she came or not either. So I, I kind of think, what I think she was thinking when she was running back to you, was she was probably looking and going, any minute now he's going to do what he normally does, throw a party. Get down, get excited, and bring me right in. And then we'll just, there it is, we did it. And for whatever reason, in the moment, you didn't, and I think that gave her the window of, well, I guess we're not doing that. There's a dummy, I'll go get that one. Oh boy, boil over. And so, part of that issue, part of that, part of that run around victory lap thing was because you changed the end of the game. You changed the end of the setup, which is fine. It's just recognizing that now. And being like, boy, I, I probably should be consistent to what we normally do. So, and we're gonna see what you normally do over this weekend multiple times. And I bet you we see a much different result. But, shake that one off. And what I like about it was you kept your cool. Brian's a pretty cool character. I know a lot of guys that would have been pretty upset about that. Uh, you're, you look at- I told you I'm the problem, not her. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> that, 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 that attitude is the right one. So 
because I think you're right. In that situation, I think that's, I do think that was the issue. When the dog turned around to come back like he usually does, Brian wasn't doing what he usually does. And so the dog went, different game, different thing, okay? All right, uh, Chris, send fee. Now everybody be prepared, okay? We're gonna send another dog. Jeff, come on back up, come on back up. You're all right. I'm trying to keep him away from him. I know, but I'm not gonna let you hide. <laughs> You're fine. Here's what's going to help you. Chris is way over there. So that was tough on, that was as hard on Da Vinci as anything because of this proximity. Now we got, we're, we put a little distance in. So bring him back in and, and Chris will have you line. You've got fee, right? Yep. Yeah. Now, pay attention to little details. Go ahead. Did you see, did you see Fee's eyes as she turned back around? Whoa. Like, I think she went left, right, left, right, left, right. And all the time she centered back to dad. Took, it was the exact, it was prob, probably when that dog turned back around, saw you, but also saw a dummy and also saw this and went, whoa. And then she looked back to you and Dad wasn't doing what he normally does. How old is Fee? Four. Four and a half. One and a half. Four. Seen this before. Looked at this landscape and went, whoop, 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 right there. And you, what did you say as she was coming in? Hold. hold. How many times have you said to your dog hold before when it delivered a dummy? I'm surprised she can't say it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thousands of times. Thousands. And so probably at about, I bet you within the same number of steps where the dog was about to get to you is about where you got the habit to say hold. I thought one of the things I, did I say to you, do you have a whistle? Did I ask you that? I don't know. In that? Like, cause my head was spinning right then and I was going, okay, what can we do to get the dog back? Get down. So I did it. I think I got down. I don't know if you did. I said, let's move. Let's go away. We'll go away from all this distraction and walk away and get the dog to come to us. Uh, I was, in my mind, I was going through the checklist. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Whistle. Okay, does the dog come to the whistle? All these different things, because I'm going, I'm trying to help you figure out, like, think of something to do. Where his instincts were, hold. So if you do that consistently, do it every time. Especially when they start to show a little bit of trouble. If they start to show the wavering head. Get them back to you, remind them. Get them back to like that comfort zone that they're used to. Okay. Feathers had anything to do with it? She's never picked up a bump with feathers on Very well could have, for sure. I mean, she, has she ever retrieved in front of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dogs? Never, not once. Never retrieved dummy with feathers. Never retrieved in front of nine people and their dogs. Uh, camera. Camera, horse pasture multiple dummies, how many, you know, the list can go on. So not surprising, and so not a bad deal, not a big deal. But mental checklist, put it on my list. I, I My takeaway from it was, one of my first takeaways from that was running doubles, switching on dummies. We got work on figuring out how to get a second dummy. And so one way we can do that, and we will, is we'll pitch a dummy out, and then we'll pitch a dummy out, and we'll send her for this one. And between that one and us is a fence. So if she decides to switch, she can't get it. No reward for that decision.